Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Wearing my five star Fourth of July I'm shirt. I'm wearing my shirt. T Teespring slash door slash five star. You can find all these no, 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 no. That's Not what that it is. One. No, it's, it's, the boring one is on the It's some five star star shirt. I didn't want to start a second store. Maybe I'm just lazy. Anyways, welcome to the show. Today, while we're trapped at home, like everyone else, even though we're in my car, I came up with an idea last night that I thought, well, it's gonna be extremely boring. Haley, of course, is going to college. You're in what year? A senior. No, really? I just registered for senior class. Yeah, but currently you're- A senior. You're a sophomore. I'm a junior. <laughs> there you go. See, that's what we were looking for. You're a junior. When does the okay. semester end? All right, so until May 9th, you're still what you are. What I thought was would be kind of neat was to do like a little flashback journey as to when we first started school. And what about us and, and how I say we is because I used to have to take her to school every morning until like 10th grade or when did you get your car? 11th grade? 11th grade yeah, probably? Until well, yeah, 11th yeah. grade, uh, I took her to school every morning. That's why when we did the five star show, it would always go up at 530 in the morning. You guys wonder why it was that early? Because I was up taking her to school. So I would edit the video when I first woke her up. Back then we were doing smaller five and six minute videos. So it was real easy to edit a quick video and put it up on the channel. Now, of course, it's gotten way more complicated. So is life. But that's why we did 530 was taking her to school every morning. I thought it'd be fun to travel back in time, go to all three schools and kind of share with you the experiences that I would have from her perspective of dropping her off for school in the morning. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds fun. Does it? <laughs> Sounds really I boring. So much time. I know, right? Okay. So to start out her first school, of course, we're talking uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. We're going to head over to that school first because for that school, we would drive and walk. We would raise our scooter. Uh, and ride our bikes. And ride our bikes. Our tandem. I don't think we can do it anymore because I think they've closed off part of it, but we'll see what we can do. You ready to head over there? Let's do it. Let's do this, brah. It's going to be fun. Wow, this is so sad. I saw you little bitches go. Yeah. Yeah. And they put up a fence. Think you can fit through the fence? I You're gonna get, get your shoes, shoes dirty. dirty. <laughs> so there used to be a bridge right here that would lead a us. A creepy wooden bridge. Walk through the forest. <laughs> and I'd always look to my right in the forest to make sure no one was gonna get us. <laughs> and it was only like 50 yards. But I was tiny. <laughs> you were tiny. <laughs> it's not true. I'd always make you walk on the side of the forest. <laughs> and that's why you would always walk on my left-hand side, which is why you're on my left-hand side now. The reason why the bridge is gone is the Blue Jays practice right over where we were just looking. And they went to the city of Dunedin and were like, hey. They ruined everything. Hey, we want a bigger place, so we're leaving. And they do bring a lot of revenue, if you're a baseball fan, to this area. Baseball sucks. I'm not going to argue the point. <laughs> But needless to say, because of that, that's why the bridge is removed. They built a whole new complex for them. It took away everything. My childhood playground, my childhood bridge, my childhood dog park, <laughs> where I got my neck taken off. So basically what you're saying is the Blue The hockey Jays. courts where I learned to play, or where I learned to rollerblade, where I play racquetball. <laughs> you're trying to say you don't like the Blue Jays? Exactly. <laughs> We would drive down to this point here and then we would walk to school. They had a side entrance. And when we first started going, I could actually walk her onto the campus and wait with her until it was time to go into the classroom. It was like the first three years. And then they changed that because of all the school shootings and stuff like that. You had to get background checked by the CIA. They fenced off the whole school and one of the teachers would be there. You would just hand your kid off to the teacher and they would walk and you'd stand at the fence you know, just kind of hanging on the fence like a lost puppy, watching your child walk off, you know, with that single tear rolling down your cheek as they went off to start learning and becoming a full-fledged human being. Mm, brings back such happy memories. Remember the dog? The dog. Oh, this sorry. also passed the dog park. So strange. Like, it was the weirdest place for a dog park. It was in the middle of nowhere. You had to know that this was a dog park or you would never bring your dog. And every morning there's this little chihuahua dog get so excited to see us. And it would walk along the fence on his front paws. Barking. Barking. Ass up in the air. <laughs> Just, the whole way just, down. It, it was, was the, so funny. It was the coolest circus stunt ever for a dog. It was freaking awesome. It was hilarious. I think I can make it. Jump? No, I think I can crawl through that gap right there. I know, right? I think I can too. I'm gonna try here. Hold the phone. Are you serious? There's mud right there. I know. 
God, this is bad. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna go to jail. That was so easy. Should we do it? Yeah, come on, I'll help you. Welcome to Explore. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm gonna get my shoes dirty. Oh, no, step right there. All right, come on. Breaking the law, breaking the law. So this was the wood she was afraid of. Oh yeah, it's spooky as hell. I'm scared. You're gonna get in trouble. We're probably gonna get in trouble. I'll just start crying, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> See, all this is new. Oh, I got bit by an ant. We're in the forest. Shh. I'm hunting rabbits. Where are you hunting? Probably. I think this is as far as we can really go. It's it really kind of sketchy going forward. Do you want to keep going? It's your, your call. I'm All right. scared. It's so muddy. Oh no, it's fenced up. Oh, yeah. it's... <laughs> There's a fence over here, so it ends right there. All right, they could be calling the police on us already. All right, we made, we made it back to the car. We need to get out of here, but we're headed to middle school, even though we actually haven't seen a school yet. I think we'll see a school for middle school unless they have it all fenced off. Well, either either way. The back way. Either way, let's get out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> so like every school, as parents know, when you drop off your kid, they have a special route that you have to go. This one has what, 50 speed bumps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the longest route. And a 90. Gotta take that 90. Right Real quick. Oh my god. Gotta Wait, I was gonna tell them something. Tell them. Right there. Right there. Basketball court? Yeah. That's where I won my first double Dutch competition. <laughs> and it's closed off. That's so sad. That is kind of sad. How do you get out? We gotta back up. Do a three point turn. I'm just gonna back up. Three point turn. I'm just gonna back up. <laughs> so if we kept going straight, that would take us around to the other side of this building here, we which- We finally get dropped off. We would finally get dropped off. So it's a mile long through the <laughs> parking lot. And what would be happening the whole time? You would be screaming. I wouldn't That's be boring. screaming, I'd be aggravated because of- He'd be screaming. Little Johnny, waterhead baby in front of us. No, their parents. Little Johnny, their parents just couldn't figure out how to get little Johnny to school and get him out of the car. Kiss me on the cheek, Johnny, right here. They Kiss me. Right, oh. right when we got to like where you could. Don't forget your instrument. Kids. Oh my gosh, we would always get. Hold on, nothing. I know you can't lift up the trunk because your arms are made out of straw. <laughs> I'll get. It. I'll put my car in park and get out and open the car for you. Give me a kiss on the cheek, Johnny. It would take 20 minutes just to get out of the car, and he'd be screaming, and I'd just be embarrassed. Stupid. And then parents. Corey in the back would be laughing. <laughs> Corey is Butch's son, for those of you that follow me on the other channel, the sticker guy. And they'd be laughing their asses off, thinking it was the most hilarious <laughs> thing ever. Because have to go all the way to the end to drop us off, and then we had to walk all the way back. Yeah, because, because the, the, he was the, the mean there Well, no, all the, the <laughs> teachers would be like, pull forward! This isn't a difficult concept! You know, and I like to be loved by the yeah. teachers. So Butch would always be at the end. Please yeah, yeah, come on, let's follow the rules, idiots. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, you'd exit the school into the 15 mile an hour school zone for the next two miles, which was perfectly fine. And I'm cool with that. Like, I would be like, and I would always laugh my butt off because there would be some idiot pulled over. It's like, really? There's there's a sheriff here every day on both ends waiting to pull suckers like you over. Oh, yeah, they would try to cheat the system. Instead of driving the mile course, they would just drop off in the dirt zone to us and make their kids cross the street. Oh, yeah, so, so I safe. <laughs> oh yeah, it was wonderful. Oh my gosh. Good fun. Every morning, blood pressure through the roof. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. 3.10. I'm just gonna slap it in reverse and limo slide the front of the car around, drop it in low one. <laughs> Line them up as we leave the school. Mm -hmm. On to the last leg of the journey, high school. What time do we leave for school in the morning? 
maybe like 7.15? Yeah, it was dark. That's all I know. I think school started at 7.15, so we had to leave the house like 6.45? So there was a cop sitting at that stop sign in the dark off in the corner and when I went around, apparently he was just sitting there waiting for some stupid parent. Not me, of course, but you know. Obviously you to pull over. And then he thought it was gonna be real cute, try to set an example for the girls, cause it was uh, you and your friend Georgia were in the car. And he's like leaning past me like, what do you think of your dad? Don't you think you should drive safer? And I'm like, I feel fine. <laughs> like, they're not gonna be on your side, dude. They're not gonna be on your side. They pretty much think you're a prick right now. Yeah. You know, because they're now, they have to walk all <laughs> the way up to the school, to this entrance here. Yeah. You're preventing them from riding in the car. And I was pretty mad. Whatever, dude. You gonna give me a ticket or not? Or here's the high school. Back a little ways here is the entrance. So we'd circle around. They had to put up signs that say no parking and no standing because every parent. Don't forget your instruments, Johnny. Fun, huh? But I got a car. Dora the Explorer. Oh, let's not talk about it. Still a touchy subject. So sad. <laughs> she got the hand-me-down 08 Ford Explorer. My favorite car. So sad. That was the fun car. Of Everyone course. Everyone would want to come in my car. Well, it was the first car, too. So the first car always has that little joy. But we won't talk about the first car experience. Maybe we'll save that for another video. Well, I had such a boom in stereo. Everyone loved to jam out. That was the pre-game soccer vehicle. It would all hop in my car we'd go over to our friend's house on the team and then we'd boom we'd go crazy high school memories we were safe uh -huh. of course i was driving that was the little morning routine we'd go through that would get her to school i would of course have to wake up so this is where it gets really sad is even though when she started driving to school i'd still have to get <laughs> up every morning to make sure she got up and left <sighs> oh, i would get <laughs> i had the weirdest high school get up routine I would, well, he would wake me up <laughs> and then he would wake me up again <laughs> and then I would get ready and I'd go back to sleep <laughs> for like five, maybe 10 minutes if I was lucky. And then he'd come in screaming at me because I was asleep again. <laughs> and then we would, well, I would leave. It was pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much still do that. I don't have to worry about it though. I have grown to like my alarm, I guess. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood, my friend. Welcome to adulthood. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, that's it. She's going to keep rattling on and giggling like she's got a fart. <laughs> Haley, end the show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wait, we need a question. I figured you'd roll right into that. Well, I haven't thought about it. What kind of car did you drive in high school? Ooh, that's a good one. It came from me. All right, so what kind of car did you drive in high school? Don't forget follow our Instagram page. Why, you've been posting pictures? No, okay. there's nobody on there, so if you guys follow me, then or us, I'll post pictures. Oh, okay. You guys have a night night, uh, you night night? You guys have a nice night, night, night as always. Night, night. We'll see you guys later next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.